Hi everybody, this is Superintendent Ron Banner of the Clover Park School District. Proud to be superintendent. Thank you for joining us today for our 2020 retiree celebration. This year we have 43 staff members retiring. Unfortunately, we could not do this as an in-person event, but we still thought that it was very important that we celebrate each retiree individually. And before we get started today, I'd like to ask our board president, Dr. Marty Schaefer, to share a few words with us. Educators, we're so grateful for all that you've done in the Clover Park School District. Thank you for your investment in children and students, adults, and even our community. It is hard for us to say goodbye because we will miss you and all of the work that you have done to make our community a better place. I'm wearing the Woodbrook jersey today as a symbol of the fact that this school also will be retiring and it will be missed. But everything that has taken place in that building will continue to move on because it touched the lives of students. And the same is true with you. You have made an incredible difference. We're so grateful. We trust that you will enjoy your retirement and we tell you that you deserve it. Thank you again. Before we acknowledge all of our wonderful retirees, I want to explain a little bit about the process that we'll go through in this virtual celebration. Each retiree will have their name and photo displayed while their supervisor reads a short bio about them. We hope that you will watch the entire event in celebration of all 43 retirees. Let's get started. Ann started her career in Clover Park as a secretary in the transportation department. Then eventually became the secretary of the assistant superintendent for business services and capital projects. During this time, Ann played a key support role in securing funds from the Department of Defense and State Construction Assistance Program for the construction of six replacement elementary schools on joint base Lewis McCord. She has played an active role supporting numerous committees in the development and passing of several successful levies and capital bonds. She is currently the treasurer and secretary to the Clover Park Citizens Committee. In retirement, she plans on spending time taking care of her very active and highly spirited 90-year-old mother. She enjoys spending time with her children, grandchildren, and dogs, has taken up gardening, and enjoying life. But when she needs a break from family, she intends on coming back as a sub for the Clover Park School District. We wish Ann all the best in her retirement. Sandy was the secretary for career and college readiness and worked in the district for nearly 42 years. She worked in many roles at various schools and departments over the years and was actually number one on the seniority list when she retired this past February. It seems like everyone in the district knows her and they all have fond memories of the time they worked together. She was friendly and welcoming to everyone. When new people started working at the Student Services Center, she was always quick to take them under her wing. She welcomed everyone into the office with a smile and her quick wit, and she always remembered something personal that made everyone feel special. In her retirement, Sandy will be spending time with her new granddaughter and her husband, Rich, who retired from the district last year. Beth has been a special education teacher and department coordinator at Clover Park High School, working in the district for the last 16 years. She always had the best interests of students in mind and went above and beyond to make sure that they had the things that they needed to be successful. She knew the ins and outs of every student's credits, testing needs, service areas, but more importantly, she knew every student's story. And that means our students received the best possible support. She always had a creative way to meet a challenge and students and teachers often went to her for advice. For her retirement, Elizabeth is planning to spend time with family. Gary has been an Air Force JROTC instructor at Clover Park High School and worked in the district for 22 years. He has an incredibly high sense of integrity and character. He holds himself to a high standard of behavior and expected his cadets to follow that example. His desire to help students develop into leaders for our school and community was integrated into everything that he did as an instructor, which is why he never shied away from working with cadets to serve as honor guards for community events. In 2012, Clover Park High School's armed and unarmed drill teams 
took first place in a national drill meet with Gary's guidance, and many of the cadets had the chance to shake hands with President Obama. In his retirement, Gary plans to travel, spend time with his family, and continue building his classic car collection. David has been a social studies teacher at Clover Park High School and worked in the district for the last 17 years. He has a relentless way of getting students to perform at high levels. As an AP U.S. history teacher, he has shared a wealth of knowledge about history and pushed all of his students to perform at a college level. As a retired Air Force civil engineer, he is also one of the founders of our Arlington Project, which began at the school 12 years ago to honor fallen and active duty veterans. As he approached retirement, he made sure his legacy and the Arlington Project were in good hands. In his retirement, David plans to travel, volunteer, reconnect with hobbies, visit friends, write, and become a gym rat. Josie has been an English teacher at Clover Park High School and worked in the district for 11 years. She cares about her students and their success in a way that makes her one of those teachers students always come back to see. Working with seniors, she always takes the time to reconnect and get to know their hopes and dreams for the future. And as a writer herself, she's helped many students find their voice. Every year, she had all of her students write graduation speeches. She asked them to reflect, tell their stories, give advice, and whatever they need to bring closure to their high school career. It was a project that the students dreaded but always ended up appreciating in a special way. In her retirement, Josie will continue to write poetry and plans to visit Europe in the near future. She is especially looking forward to visiting Paris. Pat was a special education teacher at Custer Elementary School and worked in the district for 17 years. She began her career as a paraeducator before earning her teaching certificate in 2001. She started teaching life skills at Custer in 2003 and never looked back. One of Pat's favorite memories in her career was when she was working with shaving cream one day and ended up covered in it, right in time to meet the new PE teacher. She has a heart of gold and learned early in her career that if you don't laugh, you're going to get an ulcer and cry a lot. In her retirement, Pat plans to visit all the duty stations she and her husband were stationed at while in the military and do the things she didn't get to do the first time around. Dan was a family support specialist for the early learning program and worked in the district for 11 years. He worked primarily at an elementary school on Joint Base lewis McCord. A former Army soldier, he brought a great deal of understanding and compassion for the unique challenges of military life which made him an outstanding advocate and resource for the families he worked with. He brought a lot of laughter to his work and saw every day as an opportunity to be happy and to have a good time. In his retirement, Dan is looking forward to moving to Arizona to be closer to his four grandchildren, his daughter-in-law, and his son, and planning on playing a lot of golf and to go hiking with his son, Lonnie. Wilma was assistant program manager for the early learning program and worked in the district for 26 years. She is the most caring person that I've ever had the privilege of working with. As a teacher, she truly cared for each of her students and their families. Students from the past 20 years still come back to visit her and she remembers them no matter how long ago it has been since they were in her classroom. One of her favorite days each year was the annual tea party day. She is originally from Ireland and knows how to host a proper tea party. It was a very joyous affair that the students and families remember year after year. In her retirement, Wilma is looking forward to moving to Arizona to be closer to her four grandchildren, her daughter-in-law, and her son, and planning to get a new puppy and kitten. Janice was a teacher assistant for the early learning program and worked in the district for 32 years. She made an impact on many lives throughout her career. She has a great sense of humor and always had a witty comment meant to make someone smile. It is no doubt that her sense of humor carried her and her co-workers through the challenging days. 
She was always ready for anything and especially enjoyed going on home visits. Janice just knew how to have fun with her students and that's what they loved most about her. In her retirement, Janice is planning on spending time with her two grandchildren and her grand dog, enjoying extra time for her crafting hobbies and going to the beach as much as she can to enjoy the waves. Becky was a teacher assistant for the early learning program and worked in the district for 26 years. She was always very giving and dependable and students enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one time she provided for them in the classroom. You could always count on her to celebrate when the moment called for it and she never missed sending out a happy Friday email to celebrate the upcoming weekend. In her retirement, Becky is looking forward to spending more time with her grandchildren and is planning on continuing as a substitute at Clover Park School District. Estella was a second grade teacher at Evergreen Elementary School and worked in our district for 30 years. She was flexible and always willing to take on a new challenge as she taught second, third, and fourth grade throughout her career. She had a fun tea party tradition for her students near the end of each school year. She would host a mother tea in her classroom and students would wear a tie or a lovely hat and enjoy a British tea with their parents. It was a memory making event for her students. Relatedly, she was the school's social coordinator. You always knew that if she was in charge of an event, it was going to be great. Sean was a special education teacher at Evergreen Elementary School and worked in the district for 22 years. He began his time at Evergreen as an art teacher before moving to fifth grade and eventually ended up in the special education department as our resource teacher. He was always willing to fill the gaps for other teachers and served as the school's union representative for the entire time he was at Evergreen. Sean was great at listening. He was someone his colleagues knew they could turn to if they needed to vent and he was always willing to talk with them and help them calm down for the rest of their day. He really was a friend to all. Lusta was a server for student nutrition at Woodbrook Middle School. She worked in the district for 23 years. During her time in the district, she was always very dependable. She was not only willing to jump in and help, but always had a smile or laugh as well. She loved celebrating the holidays. She would bring gift bags to hand out and would set up a pumpkin man in the cafeteria that students always got a big kick out of. In her retirement, Lust is enjoying some well-deserved rest and relaxation, spending lots of time with her great-grandson and enjoying her garden with all her flowers. Carol was a server for student nutrition at Harrison Prep and Four Heroes. She worked in the district for eight years. She was always dependable, hardworking, well-organized, and a team player. Anytime she was not needed on the serving line at lunch, students would always ask for her, and she was always happy to pop in to say hello or have a conversation. The kids loved her, and she will be truly missed by all. In her retirement, Carol plans to spend more time with her husband, Dave. Sandy was a counselor at Hillside Elementary School and worked in the district for 19 years. She is known for her compassion and caring for students with emotional and social struggles. She has made a difference in so many student lives and truly is the heart of Hillside Elementary. I met her 10 years ago when I was hired as a principal. I had very little experience with military students and families, and her guidance, friendship, and humor kept me going when the times were tough. In her retirement, Sandy plans to travel, garden, and spoil her first grandchild that will be here soon. Susie was a third grade teacher at Hillside Elementary School and worked in the district for 21 years. She is known by her colleagues as a social worker in the classroom due to her big heart and everything she does for our neediest students. She was great at making connections with students and parents alike and was often requested by parents whose children had been in her classroom. She is known for her smile and humor and her caring and compassionate nature inspired students to love school. Not many teachers have the magic Susie does. Mary was an English teacher at Hetloff Middle School and worked in the district for 24 years. She is kind, smart, and honest. She mentors everyone and wants to see everyone be successful. She has always been willing to take on leadership roles to support students, staff, and families. She teaches students to be lifelong learners, to have grit, to be independent thinkers. Staff member Doyle Tillman gets very teary talking about Mary's retirement. He calls her, her 
a dear true friend, my sounding board. With tears, he goes on to say, I will so miss having her around. This is how all the staff at Hutloff Middle School feel about Mary. In her retirement, Mary plans to travel and spend more time with her sons and their families. Heather has been a paraeducator at Hutloff Middle School for the last 10 years. Hutloff will miss her willingness to do whatever it takes to support students. She works with the most challenging students in the building and always fosters a positive working relationship with her students. They truly know she cares about them. Heather is able to engage students into their learning and get them jazzed about science. It has been fun to watch her work with her students. In her retirement, Heather looks forward to traveling and sailing on her boat, welcoming her second grandchild and spending more time with her family and new puppy at their Vashon Island Beach House. We will miss her kindness, her laughter, and her smile. Diane was the district receptionist and worked in the district for 37 years. She worked in a variety of roles at different schools around the district, which helped her transition into the district receptionist position in 2007. She is always ready to help families in whatever way she can. Her depth of knowledge, history, and experience help her connect families with the school and community services they need. Her compassion and caring are what make her such a special member of the district team. In her retirement, Diane plans to spend time at her beach house, enjoy her grandchildren, and visit family on the East Coast. Gabrielle was a paraeducator at Idlewild Elementary School and worked in the district for 21 years. She worked in education in both Germany and the United States. Her pride in her German heritage is evident with her personalized license plate displaying the name of her hometown. She was known first by her classy fashion and was often referred to as the best dressed para. In the classroom, she was patient with each group of students. Though she held high expectations for learning, she allowed students to be themselves. She always made students feel special and respected. In her retirement, Gabrielle is excited to spend time with her parents in Germany and her grandchildren in Chicago. She plans to travel with her husband and enjoy many adventures. Thea Gray was at Lakes for 23 years of her 34 and a half years in the district. She just was the, the caretaker for everyone and she had a real knack for connecting with kids who were struggling and she was such a calming connection for them that she really helped them succeed and learn how to cope. And she also had such a wonderful way in uh, critical situations where maybe parents were calling concerned or angry of really talking people down and, and getting them to understand what was going on and while managing a myriad of other things she was trying to do in the course of a day. Thea is very much missed and we have a very good person in her place now, but that doesn't replace Thea. She's amazing. Karen Knudsen has been in the Clover Park School District for 22 years. She has been at Lakes and has been our very enthusiastic librarian for the last 16 years. There's nobody in the building that has more of a passion for literacy than, than Karen, and she just pursues it with everything she's got, and that's very much appreciated. She's actually been in education about 45 years. She's worked in other districts and uh, across the country, and truly, I believe education is her passion, and she has put her whole heart and soul into making it a positive place for kids to learn. Thank you, Karen, for all of your efforts. Carrie Lawson has been at Lakes for 33 years. She's been in the district for 37 years. Carrie is just a solid, consistent support for everybody in the building and the work that we do. We couldn't appreciate more her efforts. She always is right on top of whatever she's asked to do, and she builds really good relationships with kids and staff. We couldn't function without the work that Carrie did, and we very much appreciate her. She's going to enjoy her time uh, retired being a grandma, and it's well-deserved. Thank you, Carrie, and I hope you enjoy all that grandma time. I believe Mark Lundy came to us the, my very first year as an assistant principal at Lakes High School. He's been in the district for 15 years, and he's taught math, 
and he's taught world language. He's currently teaching world language as well. And the thing that I've always appreciated about Mark is every time we put together an opportunity for students to make work up or get caught up or get help, Mark's always been one of the first ones to volunteer. I appreciate his demeanor. I appreciate how calm he is with kids, and I appreciate the hard work he's put in. He's very much heading into a deserved retirement, and he's, he says he's just going to take it easy, and I think that's well-deserved. Thank you, Mark. Scott Norty has been in the Clover Park School District for 15 years. He's been at Lakes for, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to guess because I can't quite remember, but it seems like he's always been at Lakes. Scott is just incredible at his job and so much of a team player. He's had 30 years in education, and our paths crossed a long time ago in the Tacoma School District. So Scott and I have been doing this work together for a long time. He has been so conscientious about doing his job and also making sure that the next person coming in is prepared and ready to do the job. And his love and passion for sports and kids and the opportunities it provides them is exceptional. And he is someone else who will be very much missed, and we very much appreciate him. Mary Church was a paraeducator at Lockburn Middle School and worked in the district for 32 years. She was a caring and passionate staff member that loves kids and was incredibly supportive to her colleagues. Mary always took her duties seriously and could always be counted on. She was great at organizing kids, getting them to follow expectations, and letting them know that even when they made mistakes, they could count on her to be there for them. She spoiled all of us with her meticulous attention to detail and always applied her knowledge that she had gained through her conscientious work in the school. Mary loves to camp with her husband and her extended family in their teardrop trailer. This teardrop has been all over the Pacific Northwest. And with the additional time, we expect to see her out in that teardrop to get a lot of use. David was a maintenance supervisor and worked for the district for five years. He had a very common sense approach to the job. If something came up that didn't make sense to him, he always was willing to dig deeper to get the full story. He was never satisfied with the way he did things and was always looking to be more efficient in his duties. He also let his actions speak for his values, being always willing to help the district no matter what was needed from him. In his retirement, David has been spending time with his grandkids and doing some kayaking. Kyung was an assistant chief custodian at Mann Middle School and worked in the district for 25 years. She was truly one of my favorite people. From superintendents to summer hires, she made everyone feel welcome and cared about. Kyung was all about the students and the staff, who she viewed as an extended family. She was knowledgeable, dedicated, and built relationships of trust and respect district-wide. Her generosity was truly genuine and heartfelt, and her dedication and behind-the-scenes efforts truly made Mann Middle School the amazing building that it was. In her retirement, Kyung plans to continue to work in her manicured yard and garden, visit friends and family in Korea, and spend more time with her three children, James, Nivia, and Stephanie. Brian was a custodian at Carter Lake Elementary School, and he had previously worked as a chief custodian in the district as well. He worked for the district for 25 years. He was consistent in his efforts and was good at finding strategies that worked for him to get the job done. He is one of the most honest people I have ever met. It did not matter if someone was going to like what he had to tell them, make them happy, or create friction. You could always count on him to be 100% honest. In his retirement, Brian is looking forward to relaxing and spending more time with family and friends. Mamie was a librarian at Mann Middle School since 1993 and worked in the district for nearly 44 years. She was an amazing librarian and always advocated for students when she could. She worked very hard to present a great library and helped promote a love of reading for all of Mann's students. Ms. Jackson regularly sent students to the Cavalcade of Authors event each year and organized a student team to compete in the Battle of the Books. Thank you, Ms. Jackson, for your service to students and changing lives for 44 years. 
Rich was the choir drama teacher and a coach at Mann Middle School and worked in the district for 24 years. He developed choral and drama skills in his students, and many went on to become skilled performers in high school. He organized many performances, both at school and in the community, and gave his students a chance to shine on stage. He always got the most out of his students and gave them a chance to express themselves through song and theater. Rich was a committed and dedicated teacher, coach, and mentor to his students. Thank you, Rich, for positively impacting your students to be great for 24 years. Darlene taught family consumer science at Mann Middle School and has worked in the district for 27 years. Darlene eagerly taught students to be great at cooking, nutrition, sewing, and many crafts. She has been an advocate for students and worked very hard to create great instructional programs to teach students essential skills. She has been a constant presence at athletic, music, and other school events. Thank you, Darlene, for your commitment and for being a change agent to your students. You will be missed. Sinette has worked in the Clover Park School District for 20 years and is retiring as principal of Park Lodge Elementary School. While growing up, she spent a lot of time tutoring her brother and found it rewarding and fun to watch him learn new things. Being able to make a difference in his life encouraged her to enter a career in education. Her daily interaction with students has been her inspiration ever since. Sinette enjoyed her time working with middle school students as a teacher and ASB and yearbook advisor. As a principal, Sinette was very active about welcoming new families and students, and she was passionate about making sure students had what they needed to succeed. Sinette's dedication to CPSD is shown in her long commute to work, which she makes more enjoyable with her daily coffee that she gets every morning from the Lakewood Town Center Starbucks. You've probably seen her car in line with her NBCT license plate. In her retirement, Sinette plans to enjoy family time, more time reading, walking, and volunteering for a few of her favorite projects. Patricia was a second grade teacher at Park Lodge Elementary School and worked in the district for 26 years. She was one of a kind, the perfect mix of old school and new. Her philosophy on teaching children was to give them the life skills necessary to be successful adults, both academically and socially. She impressed upon them what it means to be a good citizen and that in life, it is not only important to work hard, but contribute to society with the special gifts that child possesses. She was a leader in the building, highly respected among other employees, and selected each year to work with the most challenging students because she handled them best. She was smart, funny, a true standout as far as educators go. Her retirement is truly a loss for the Park Lodge community. Patricia is a lover of books and knowledge. In her retirement, she will continue to read, read, and read some more. Leslie Deal has accomplished a great deal during her 36-year tenure with Clover Park School District. Under her leadership, she has developed an outstanding publications team that is known for its quality, efficiency, and top-notch service. She takes great pride in her work, has incredible attention to detail, and goes above and beyond to support our staff, students, and the district. She was named Classified Employee of the Year in 2006 which is a testament to her expertise and performance. Leslie is a gifted artist and designer, and her talents expand beyond the graphic design and printed materials that make our district shine. Her drawings are breathtaking, and our district halls are graced with many examples of her work. Leslie is a proud parent and grandparent and is deeply devoted to her family. She looks forward to spending more time with family in her retirement. So George was a bus driver and worked in the district for 27 years. He treated each student as if they were his own grandkid. He cared so much for each one and was always willing to do whatever it took to get the student to school every day. He rarely missed work and ever since his retirement he's called and even stopped by to ask about the students he used to drive. George was always happiest behind the wheel whether he was driving a full bus of students or driving nonstop to California and Arizona on a spring break. In his retirement, George has been able to slow things down a bit, which has included traveling and spending time with family. Terrence was a bus driver and worked in the district for eight years. He was the kind of person who didn't want to be noticed, but he was great at his job. 
Though he was quiet, he was always a pleasure to talk to when he wasn't driving. Terrence also worked in catering for the district, which let him show off his creativity and put his degree from the Culinary Institute of America to good use. He never flustered in trying circumstances and was calm to the core. In his retirement, Terry has spent more time with his family and driven occasional trips for students when needed. Patty was a paraeducator at Tai Park Elementary School and worked in the district for 22 years. She had a love for kids and a desire to guide them to reach their potential. She always got so excited to see them grow. She enjoyed all of the interactions she had with students and as an ELL para, but also the time she got to spend with them out on the playground and during lunch. In her retirement, Patty plans to spend more time with family, especially her grandkids, and will be traveling to Florida to see them. David Thurison has been a paraeducator at Woodbrook Middle School in the Clover Park School District for eight years. He serves as a classroom para in our functional transition program. He is described by colleagues for his flexibility, his willingness to learn, his kindness, his respect for students and staff, and his outstanding attendance. His teachers stated that he knows more about the program than she did when she started. She also described him as being very chill, someone who will go with the flow and do whatever is needed in the moment. Mr. Thurston takes great pride in his knowledge about world news, history, and his experience with social and emotional learning needs of students. He can be counted on to jump in and learn material, sometimes even before the teacher does. This year, he was a classroom para However, he spent a great deal of his time working one-on-one -on -one with students. He was able to build relationships with some students that other staff weren't able to reach just by listening to what they needed and understanding what they had to say and how they felt. Mr. Thurison looks forward to retirement, spending time guarding and spending more time with his wife. Congratulations to all of our retirees. Thank you for providing a world-class education to our community's children. I wish you a happy and enjoyable retirement that provides you many opportunities to try new things or just do things that make you happy, like coming back and substituting for us. Thank you again, and that's the end of our program today.